support it. Thank you. Mike Penny. Deputy Speaker, and I'll be quite short because obviously there's lots of important business still to come on to. And as a Eurosceptic, before Brexiteers were even invented, um, I completely agree with my, right, my honourable friend and, and the bill going forward. I'm a little bit sceptical in another way, Mr Deputy Speaker, and this is for the Minister's ears, really. The, the motor insurance industry are very clever at telling us how much something would go up if we did something. And they very often, very early, their actories write into the risk, very early on, that premiums would go up. And premiums are going up in, in the country today. Yeah. But when I was on that Treasury bench, Mr Deputy Speaker, in exactly the position that the Minister is in today as the Roads Minister, the industry came to me and said, if we have continuous insurance, we will be able to lower premiums because we're taking that risk away from motorists that are uninsured that we are paying for, you and me and everybody else in this chamber and around the country that are insuring vehicles. Mm. Motor insurance is with vacancy insurance, and I completely agree with the principle, nobody should be on our roads that's not insured and we should sawn the vehicle if it's off the road and register it off the road because even if it's on your drive it should be insured, that's the law. But I've not seen any proof or example of motor insurance going down since those promises were made. Yeah. So what the point I was saying to Mr. Murphy, keep a very close eye on the motor insurance, which is a very profitable marketplace. That while they're saying this would have gone up by fifty pounds per policy, that actually that fifty pounds hasn't been already written in, and just give them a subtle hint and say, how come it hasn't gone down since we've had the continuous insurance? <laughs> okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker.